now when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were gathered together in one accord don't be distracted don't be distracted don't be distracted be serious Parado sabranda kala pratesa de bagata shakate kate pakata prosa to pariata bara the making of man the making of man the consistency that translates relationship to power haroda shalam prakato setelesh kaparuda selesh em prakate kate pakato prokato soto barikate swallowing up your weaknesses Rakata paruto soto predakate swallowing up your ignorance skamadanda prakatoska la pratakatusa siata hasa skipato shaparu sate kotase lata empra koto soto parukato saprakate empra kato shaleta prakate parutos prakata pakato soto predakate and the bread get a get a get a prakato sapesh shakate kate rakata prato soto prakato siyasa hallelujah 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 please everyone say after me in the name of jesus please shout it inside and outside in the name of jesus tonight i declare a fresh reconnection to the ministry of the holy ghost say holy spirit i desire a fresh relationship with you lift your voice and begin to pray relationship with the Holy Spirit Paradosali Prakatosa the ten negate Laka Prakatosa to Prakatoshi ala Paranda Sarakosh and Prakatosho Prodos Soto Prakade Bala Prakata Hallelujah Hallelujah Listen in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of jesus we're praying jesus said my house whether it is a church building or your body it is all his house he said there is a name it must be called it must be called the house of prayer so if your body is the house of god you prove that it is truly the house of god by turning it into a house of prayer say in the name of jesus i declare from tonight that this house becomes a house of prayer and a house of power lift your voice and begin to pray power in the heavens power from the realm of the spirit
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please look up. Look up, everyone. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 28 that having arrived an island called Melita, the sea was boisterous. And when everyone was panicking, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Paul and told him, There shall be no loss. And the Bible says they arrived safely at an island called Melita. And while they were gathering sticks, everybody watch this. Do you know, while they were gathering sticks, there was a viper in the stick. But because of how cold the stick was, the viper could not be released. The moment they set those sticks on fire, the viper that was hiding could no longer hide. It is because your life is too cold. That's why there are certain things hiding and will not be revealed. The moment your life is set on fire through the ministry of prayer, the things that are hidden begin to be made manifest. In one minute, say in the name of Jesus, every planting that is not of the Lord in my life as I pray, be exposed. Lift your voice and pray. hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points and i'll begin to minister In the name of Jesus. Listen. Please listen. The Bible says, The moment John, the prophet, brought Jesus out of the waters, it says the heavens opened and the Spirit of God came. Remember, power is always after the Holy Ghost. Now, when the Holy Ghost came on Jesus, he was not manifesting power yet immediately the bible says the spirit drove him to the wilderness and for 40 days he was praying and fasting and having been tempted of the devil and he overcame him in matthew chapter 4 the bible says and he returned in the power he went full of the spirit but he returned in the power and between his going and his coming the only thing we see is prayer for 40 days of generating spiritual power he returned in the power and his fame spread abroad say in the name of jesus every attack on my prayer life every attack on my spiritual life every attack on my consistency in the name of jesus be destroyed right now lift your voice and pray
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 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 The last prayer point has to do with your destiny. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will. Listen to me. The gates of your destiny will never open until you pray. Let me show you a mystery and then I'll begin to minister. Are you ready? Acts chapter 12 from verse 1. Please don't be distracted. Don't worry, you will submit your request. Hang on. Will soon allow you to submit your request follow this scripture this is the last prayer point now about the time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church next verse we're reading the first 10 verses he killed james the brother of john with the sword and when he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of the unleavened bread except for verse 4 and when he had apprehended him watch this he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people this is the wickedness that prevails in our world the condition to be a victim of wickedness is to be born by a woman. You don't have to trouble anybody. Just arrive here and that's it. You have satisfied the condition. Peter therefore was kept in prison. Talk to me Southeast. But prayer. But prayer. Not and prayer. But prayer was made how long? The key is not prayer. The key is consistency. But prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. Now watch the miracle. Verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, while Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keep us before the door of the prison seven my goodness my god behold an angel so there is a relationship between prayer and angels they don't just come they are instructed to come the angels would have when they killed james where were the angels it meant someone on earth who was not praying was authorizing darkness to continue are you getting what I'm saying now? The same angels were still in heaven when they were killing James. But when they caught Peter, they said, enough is enough. And they began to pray. And the angel said, now you authorize our ministry on earth. And the angel of the Lord came to him. Watch this. And a light shined in prison. And he smote Peter by the side and raised him up saying, arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hand so prayer can remove chains we are examining what prayer can do the second thing that prayer can do is in the next verse please get this revelation next verse hmm. and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and he did and he also cast his garment and followed him so prayer can bring restoration his garment his shoes everything had been taken away from him prayer did not only remove the chains prayer brought back the things that he lost number three verse nine now this is where i want your eyes to be open he went out prayer can bring advancement 
he was in the prison and it was on account of prayer the angel said follow me it's time to go forward now watch this he followed him and wish not that it was true which was done by the angel but he thought he was in a vision verse 10 and when they were past what the first and the second gates hold on in this story there are three gates to every man's destiny from the prison there was the first gate he was out of the first gate but he was not yet free the first gate he moved past the second gate he was no longer in the prison but he was not out either ways and he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate which led to where this is the gate that controls influence the moment this gate opens the city must receive your ministry please hear me you can be doing ministry you are not in prison but you are not in the city the iron gate is still a limitation the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder so when our father was standing here yesterday and speaking that the gates be open i'm sure many of you just think it's just a lot of nonsense and gibberish these are mysteries the bible says the iron gate that leaded to the city and it opened on its own accord you can be in enugu for 10 years 20 years and you are just moving around you are moving in the open but in the realm of the spirit the gate is closed are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus every gate closing against my destiny be open now lift your voice and pray please help them lift your voice and pray be open now. Be open now. The iron gate that opens up my business. The iron gate that opens up my ministry. The iron gate that opens up my destiny. hallelujah praise the name of the lord hallelujah listen i told you that hold on please you, you, you okay maybe you, you just keep them there i hope the fan will not push them please we're about to step into a very serious prophetic moment in this meeting right now and i like for your heart to be very sensitive Number one, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, just wave it up and there will be people. Please, all the ushers holding the baskets, let them know where you are and they will pass it. Don't fight, don't fight. Please, you can pass it to the last person. He will help you drop it. Please make sure those outside are also receiving it and make sure that our online community, those who are following from whatever part of the world, are part of this I'm about to pray for the sick I'm about to pray that the yokes that tie the destinies of men please hear me in the name of Jesus except it is not the god of heaven we are serving if there is anything that has kept you not tomorrow this night it must go
Aleluya. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing like a saxophone in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. And it's a sound that the Lord is about to blow from the realm of the spirit in this room. Please listen. It's a sound of deliverance. Please hear me. Whether inside or outside, we're about to shout just one shout. And anything that is not of the Christ, tying down your destiny, tying down your foundations, I tell you it must give way. Not now. Not tomorrow I meant to say, but right now. Father, by the ministry of the Spirit, by the ministry of angels, scattered in and out of this place, oh God, are great people who have been tied down. I'm telling you, I'm seeing several chains in the Spirit. Here's what I'm seeing. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus inside and outside please bring all the people who have been delivered there is massive deliverance god is visiting foundations are you ready at the count of three over enugu i speak to the realm of the spirit and i declare the time for the liberty of the saints has come get ready now one two three shout jesus i command every power i command every yoke be broken now. Be broken now. Bring them out. Be broken now. Inside, outside. Be broken now. Over who shall shake the place of the papa. A can propose scoping the face. Scoping the face here. I command power. I command yoke. Be lifted, all ye gates. And be ye lifted, ancient door. Let the king of glory come. Let the King of Glory come. Let the King of Glory come. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. Bring them out. There is a chain I'm seeing on ladies. I don't know what this means. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will shout that name. I'm seeing fire coming around the belly areas of people. There is massive deliverance going on. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I command altars. I tear down altars. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Speaking against your destiny, speaking against you, we nullify it by the blood of the eternal covenant. Kebron de soso zekete, e prekete le kebros koto patushia. Hallelujah! Please look up. It's asking me to build delay. There are families who have been tied down for many years. You are moving, but are not moving in life and in ministry. At the count of three, the power of God is going to locate you where you are, and that chain will be broken. Father, anyone here under the siege of delay, at the count of three, may the fire fall on that destiny. One, two, three, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I cause delay all our families. I cause delay over destinies. I cause delay inside, out, online. I declare delay be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who is Chidima? Chidima. I hear the name Chidima. You are wearing a red hair tie. Chidima, who is that? You are wearing like a red hair tie. Is there someone like that? Come. 
Shaliba Rus Kabanda Hashala Bakuria Teba. Madam, please come. Listen, in one minute, lift your voice. Mention what must live your life now. Please open your mouth and pray. These Egyptians that you see today, that you shall see them no more forever. Don't be silent. Open your mouth and pray. Prayer can break chains. Prayer can restore. Prayer can advance. Southeast pray. Enugu pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen, madam, please look at me. Tap this woman for me. I don't know who this woman is, but I'm seeing a lot of oppression around your family. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? Huh? Your husband. Tell him the month of January. 2021 is his month of breakthrough for the family i declare in the name of jesus that this oppression comes to an end now who is christopher i'm hearing the name christopher you are holding a child christopher i'm seeing a baby like a female christopher who is that atmosphere she This man is not holding a baby now. I saw a baby in my okay. Your name is Christopher. Yes, is sir. this your child? Yes, sir. Your name is Christopher yes, too. Sir. You are holding a child. Yes, sir. I'm going to pray. Don't worry, you came. I saw a lady, but I hope the girl is not crying. Yes. If she's crying, let any woman who can help with children help her. My friend, is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From 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 Onicha. Onicha. Yes, sir. You came for this conference. Yes, sir. What do you do? I do I do transportation business. No, that's not the only thing you do. I do I, I learn trade, Mo old motor spare parts. I'm seeing you sell spare parts. Yes, sir. This is the real thing you do. Yes, sir. Transportation yes, sir. is just once in a while. Yes, sir. You are not very consistent yes, sir. in it. Yes, sir. Because I'm looking at someone that God is going to grant you grace. That spare part, there is an anointing on it for you. Amen. listen it's important that you are divinely directed don't just do things because people are doing it it may end you in a lot of casualty i pray for you in the name of jesus christ may the hand of the lord rest upon you. name of jesus Amen. may the hand of the lord rest upon you Amen. what is nee -E? huh like a name, something attached to a person's name. Is there something like that? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like N, then E again. Eh? No, your name is not me. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord telling me your name. Who is Nena? Is that not your name? Come. I, uh, I the about too much noise, my, my sister. Just keep quiet. Huh? Stand up. Stand up. Two weeks ago, you saw me in your dream. Yes, sir. Keep quiet. I was telling these people about it. That I've been having revelations. Yes, Wait now. Let me talk to you, my sister. Listen. It's true. God wants to help you. But don't be embarrassed, eh? The only thing you need to work on is communication, your words. If you can work on that one, it will deliver you from a lot of trouble. But you are a woman that is greatly favored by God. I pray for you right now. No, no, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I'm seeing... I'm going to pray but one, two, three, four, five years, no child. No child. The angel of the Lord is telling me, okay, five years, don't just come out. We'll pray, please, I'll send you back if it's, if it's not five years. In the name of Jesus, let's behave ourselves. Are we together? You and your wife. Ah. Do you believe that next year by this time, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. See, Hallelujah. listen. Listen. Let me teach you something. It is pride to administer at a level of grace you do not have. The Bible says that we minister according to the measure of grace. That means before you talk, you must be able to examine whether you have the level of grace to sponsor that spiritual reality. Now, listen, there are so many people who are coming out now for various reasons. Um, it will be rowdy. I've not started praying for the sick yet and all of that. I'm just, I'm talking of people five years. This is what God told me. Five years. Where is your husband? He's not in, he was here in the body. He couldn't come to see What do you do? I'm an event planner. You believe that God... Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. And that Jesus! In the name of Jesus, my sister, I pray for you. I don't care what the medical situation is. According to the time of life, return back to your children. Help her, please. I'm interested in this man. You are, are you a man of God? Yes, sir. Please. Where? In Enugu here, sir. In Enugu here? Yes, sir. And your wife? Yes, sir. How long, sir? Five years. Sir. Five years. Yes, sir. And this is your wife? Yes, sir. Madam, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, I'm praying this prayer in public. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, I prophesy to you both according to the time of life. You see what is happening to your wife? In the name of Jesus. I speak to that womb, be open now. Be open now. Carry your children by the spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus. I salute you, sir, for being a man of God. And in spite of all this challenge, you are still on. Most people may never understand what it means to be in pain. You are setting others free from what you are going through. It is painful. We salute you. We honor you for your diligence for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I have spoken over your life. Go and you will return back with your testimony. In Jesus' name. Five years. The power of God is going to come upon one of you now. After that, I will, pr I will pray for the rest. Help her. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. And that plague of witchcraft, I curse it now. Now! Release her womb now. Release her womb now. There are three of you that I'm praying this for. Because I'm seeing what looks like a snake tying your stomach. I declare by the spirit of the Christ, release that womb now. And I speak to you, who have been trusting God for five years in the name of Jesus and according to the time of life. Sir, you are a man of God too? Oh dear. How many of you here are men of God in ministry? In ministry. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In ministry. Actively preaching. Please come. You are a pastor in this city, sir? Yes, sir. How long have you been trusting Nine God? Years. Nine years. Yes, sir. Oh dear. Sir, I'm looking at you. Is your wife here? Huh? I want to talk to you. I don't know why God is interested in you. Who has been trusting God for 13 years? Yes, 13, 13 years. years. 2007. How many years now? 13 years. This is what I'm saying. Come and stand here. 
it's time for this to end in your life madam where are you Hi, God, please don't come out at random. If, if you do this, we'll not be able to do. Don't worry. And don't feel bad that maybe God is calling some. It's not my doing. I'm only just obedient to what the Holy Ghost is doing. But you can be sure that everybody will receive something. Are we together now? Sir, God has seen your heart and he really wants to help you. You are a good man and God wants to help you. Yes, sir. 13 years. The Lord is giving a baby boy to a woman called Ifoma. Who is Ifoma? What's your name? Ifoma. God is giving you the miracle of a baby boy. My, look at me, madam. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Don't just, if you don't believe, say I don't believe you are an all, but I want you to believe it and receive it. I I, I, do I know you, sir? I don't know anything about you, no, madam. Sir. In the name of Jesus right now the spirit that is holding fruitfulness over this family i come against it now Amen. 13 years of oppression 13 years of barrenness you come under judgment in the name of jesus christ Amen. i release you right now in jesus name Amen. god bless you sir please go and return with your testimony you're a pastor please come sir and your wife how long okay you said nine years is your wife pregnant Is she okay? Yes, Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel embarrassed. There's something in your stomach. Huh? I will pray for you. This is it's not for public discussion, but in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, for your glory, do a miracle in the life of this man and his wife. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This is amazing. I'm stretching my hands here, but the person the power of God will touch is in the crowd now. A loud shout will come from that person. I'm praying for this person, but the devil has programmed the same thing happening to this man to happen to that person, and God is going to deliver that person now. A loud shout, not a random shout. The Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on that person right now. This is what God is telling me. A loud shout to the hearing of everyone. that person shouting the lord himself is delivering that person from this situation sir i speak to you according to the time of life in the name of jesus return with your miracle Amen. by the power of the holy ghost Amen. in the name of jesus christ you are a pastor sir god bless you sir you can return back let me pray for you and your dear wife you pastor your own church yes i have to pray for you madam you're a good woman but i have to pray for you i'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and i'm not seeing a face i'm just seeing a body alone in the name of jesus i blot out everything that does not represent the counsel of the christ for you sir and for your dear wife i declare in the name of jesus the anointing of the spirit is coming on your wife and in the name of Jesus Christ, an end comes to this captivity. There is a strong teaching anointing, sir, that is upon your life, but God is going to be multiplying it. Amen. A strong grace, Amen. a revelatory teaching grace, yes, yes. God is giving you. Amen. But alongside it, I'm seeing the healing anointing too, yes, yes. that God is bringing oh, to your God. life. These two graces will be the signature graces of your ministry. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, may the Lord do this miracle for you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Are, are you men of God? You are a pastor? How long have you been married, sir? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Your wife? Please see me after service, sir. Huh? You understand? Just see me after service this your wife five years victory victory that's somebody's name victory not victoria or victory like victory i don't know who that person is 
victory no it's not a man it's a lady victory is there don't worry don't if this your name is victory where are you coming from my dear you are in Enugu here I stretch my hands this oppression that I see over your family by the anointing of the Holy Ghost be free from it now be free from it now by the power of the Holy Spirit sir I pray for you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every abnormality around your bodies is corrected right now in the name of Jesus you go and return back with supernatural miracles to the glory of the name of the Lord in Jesus name for all of you who are standing wow we have to rush in the name of Jesus I pray for you let the power of the Holy Spirit open up your wombs in the name of Jesus return with your miracles return with your miracles in the name of Jesus God bless you let's pray for the sick now how many of you are trusting God for a miracle in one area of your life or the other okay now right where you are just lay your hands there you don't have to come out lay your hands there I want to pray for you now please be sensitive we have to hurry up because um, when I pray for you I'm going to invite a few of the fathers in the land we're going to stand here and prophetically we're going to be activating destinies in this place hallelujah praise the name of the Lord lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle now we just have about 10 minutes for this watch this please can I have um, maybe if you can help us arrange one or two pastors so that when I pray for you as soon as I ask you to check yourself miracles will begin to happen in this place inside and outside and when you find out that the power of God has touched you I want you to run out maybe we can have here and here and then we can have a few pastors you confirm them and then we'll take the testimony so maybe the pastors can coordinate themselves very quickly lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and now is also the time where you can stand for someone thank you Jesus I like you to agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now listen the healing anointing will begin to flow through this place there are two people the Lord is revealing to me inside here they are going to shout loud by the Spirit the moment that shout comes I don't know why God does this sometimes the healing anointing will begin to flow two of them I'm ready to pray for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke every spirit of infirmity I rebuke every devil of infirmity the spirits that are behind infirmities behind diseases behind discomforts behind afflictions I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare right now from the left to the right the front to the back inside outside online I declare be healed in the name of Jesus the healing power of Jesus Christ is flowing to you right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus I'm seeing breast lump living the Lord is healing breast lump in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone here you have hold on please you have like a urinary problem you urinate frequently sometimes even out of control the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone is it that you are completely deaf or you don't hear completely with your right ear let it be open right now in the name of Jesus now I declare deaf ears be open now in the name of Jesus
every form of blindness complete blindness partial blindness be healed now in the name of Jesus I pray everyone on crutches everyone on wheelchairs in the name of Jesus let the power of God touch you right where you are in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone with severe heart palpitations the power of God is coming upon you right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus there is someone you don't smell you don't smell very well as I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pain at your right side but the Lord is healing you right now this young lady come this little this little girl this fair lady come How old are you, my dear? You are 12 years. I want to pray for you. This lady you see is a very great lady. As I'm looking at her in the realm of the Spirit. I don't know you, but while I was praying, the Holy Spirit directed me to you and he said I should anoint you. The grace that was on Queen Esther is upon this girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you carry that grace. Be favored above your contemporaries. That everywhere you go, may that grace locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's someone with pile. You can't go to the toilet easily. You have severe pain. Sometimes you are bleeding. The power of God is touching you right now. Right now. I'm seeing a lady, whether it's the time for your menstrual cycle or not. At any time, you can just begin to have hemorrhage. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon you right now. Pounding migraine headache. You wake up in the morning, you can't even shake your head because of severe pain. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Now, whether I mention your situation or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. There's someone is like you have a boil. I don't know where exactly around your body, and it keeps going and returning, going and returning. The power of God is touching you right now. You will check that boil and not find it again. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you had a dream and in that dream is like an animal looks like a dog or something was chasing you and that dog beat you and from that time you've had continuous sickness again and again in the name of Jesus the Bible declares that even the lawful captive shall be delivered I declare be free right now everywhere inside outside I speak to you by the spirit of grace be free right now now listen to me in one minute we may not we may just have five or six minutes for testimonies I want you to check yourself and while we are celebrating Jesus there are some of you even before I started ministry while you came out under the anointing here several miracles have happened check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened come boldly I want you to use either of the aisles inside or outside the people are lifting their hands celebrate Jesus people are coming out celebrate Jesus people are coming out please come out quickly quickly let's take a few testimonies let's take a few testimonies please be seated come out very quickly we may have a few minutes and then we can just do the prophetic part of the meeting and we're done for tonight those who are coming from outside, please allow them come. Are you celebrating miracles? People are coming out. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Enugu, are you celebrating miracles? The name above every other name, what can't you do? 
Yesterday, when you prayed for somebody who had a moving object in his yes, stomach, immediately you prayed that thing stopped completely. Run, check yourself. Is there anything moving in your body? Any pain? No pain at all. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Come, sir. Let him come. Allow him hold my hands. Grace for you in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same again. Yes, she, please. She came in here tonight with an ulcer pain. Ulcer for oh. how long, sir? How long? Many years. How so, many years? So many years? years. So many years. So many years. But why you pray right now? It's gone completely. You go and check yourself medically. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands, my dear. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please. Go ahead. Sir, he has been experiencing ulcers and also cough and cata. Ulcer why, again. Yes. Why prayer was going on, the thing ceased instantly. Come right where you are. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. You will never be the same again. I release that grace upon you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. The next person, very quickly. My Sir, God, miracles are happening here. Okay. Sir, she said she had the experience of moving object in her stomach. Why How long, my dear? What's your name? My name is Chica. Okay. Mm. How long has it been? Um, like um, four months now. Okay. And what happened tonight? Yesterday you prayed and the thing left. Today again it came back. But as I was here, you, when you, while you're praying, the thing left. It and left? It, yes. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. God bless you. Yes, please. There's a miracle here. You just mentioned somebody who had a hemorrhage. Whether it's her period or not. Oh, my she God. She keeps bleeding since 2008. She said, why? Before you started praying, the thing ceased instantly. Completely. Yes. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Come. You are able. Great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Lay your hand on your chest. I command that devil, let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, out of her life and out of her body, now and forever. In the name of Jesus, my dear, you are made whole. Turns to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. This woman here, she said she saw in a dream last monday you praying for her that the child in the womb was abridged and because of that she could not stand on her feet oh the child was it, abridged yes and you could not stand yes but and right now what happened she can stand the child well. is corrected yes. come on now oh dear look we have to sing one Igbo song <laughs> That's all I know. Come on, sing with me. Yes, go ahead. Sir, this man here came with a very severe headache as you prayed. Now. Headache. Severe headache. Yes, please. Yes, and gone. right it's now gone out. it's gone completely Conflict. in the name of jesus it never returns to you celebrate jesus go ahead sir we have just a few more minutes and then we'll just pray generally because we have to do the impartation now this young man is having issue with going to toilets but immediately you mentioned his issue he fell under the anointing and that was the issues end. going to the toilet yes sir. Pile. yes sir you don't even know how long five years for five years you can't go to the toilet easily I used to go to toilets once in four days. Once in four days? Yes, wow. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if that is healthy. But come, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, my friend. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. I command that it lets you go now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I believe in miracles. Six years moving objects and pain. Completely gone. Com it's coming upon you to grant you access to very strange opportunities hold my hands in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you you move into that realm in the spirit in the name of jesus yes please sir 
This young lady here has dual Let's, testimony. Um, I will pray. There are so many miracles. Maybe we'll just take two or maybe two or three more if we can. I know that some of you are itching to testify. Just share with them some striking ones. We can just take two or three. And then I pray generally. I know many of you have been touched, but time may not allow so that we can quickly do the impartation. I'm still around. I'm still around tomorrow. I'm still around Thursday. We're having a meeting in another assembly. So we're going to trust God. This will be a continuation of what God is doing. Go ahead. Yes, yes sir. She had 17 years West pain gone completely right now. This lady, this lady, and second one, her right ear she cannot hear completely with it, but right now she can completely hear yes. test her. <laughs> Tell her to repeat what she, yes, Jesus, 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 my God, and who give Jesus praise? Come. <laughs> I give the chase calling. Look at me. Put your hand in the ear that you couldn't hear with. That's the ear. Okay, hold my hands with the other one. In the name of Jesus, be open and you remain open forever. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Five years eye problem. A trace of glaucoma. Gone. A trace of glaucoma. Yes. Medically verified. Come. What's your name, my dear? For how long? It's been on. And now, just place your hand on your eyes. You're going to feel like fire coming to your eyes. In the name of Jesus, I minister the life and the power of the Spirit to you. It's gone. Gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Sir, since 2000. Ulcer, sorry, since 2015. Ulcer. Yes. My goodness. While you were praying, he felt a sensation and he was in pain but the pains are gone right now please come can we have just one or two more i really apologize i would have loved to allow every everyone share but um, okay let's just take maybe two more Any striking two testimonies Sir. and then i'll pray for the rest don't feel bad um we'll always have a platform you can testify in your various churches or whatever platform you have available this was the man who was healed of ulcer. What else do you do, my friend? You're a student. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for leadership on you. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release that grace upon you. Let it speak over your life and your destiny. In Jesus' name. Sir, she has had two major surgeries on kidney issues. Wow. And she has been having severe pains by the two right sides of the kidneys for 13 years and, and while you prayed run run any any pain any pain jump oh come on please give jesus praise surgery lay your hands you will not need to do any kidney transplant in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you and I pray that the power that raised Christ from the dead comes upon your body, perfection, wholeness for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Let also healed of all sir, pain all while sir. you were praying. No, no, don't, don't go back. Come stand. Let me pray for you. There's a reason why you came out. Let her come. Congratulations, my dear. Stretch your hands towards all these people that the Lord has touched. And just pray for them passionately from your heart. May the Lord bless you, my dear. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you. The Lord will use you mightily. I'd like you to speak, declare over their lives. The ones who came out and the ones who are scattered in the congregation, we declare, we declare perfection, we declare wholeness. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment right now. Can we all rise? I have a covenant with God of answered prayers. The Lord has assured me that when I lift up my voice to Him, He will answer. We are going to pray. I want you to stretch your hands towards this request. And I want you to believe that these Egyptians you see today, 
that you will see them no more forever if you are still here to drop yours just give it to the ushers quickly and let them bring it here please stretch your hands in one minute while i pray on his request go ahead stretch your hands begin to pray in the spirit i hear the chains falling Shalabaruda sedebakaruto sodobranda kadabaladaba Sakratos koporoto shobrende barita salach Rakata baranda sadabalato sodobrandi Epretizia saleto sadabranda kadabaladaba Father turn aside And turn around the captivity of men In the name of Jesus Visit families Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please, um, I hope you do not mind. Let me just plead with our fathers the leaders bishop sir and and reverend and then pastor please can you come just three of you as a point of contact um let's celebrate them as they come we are going to stand and listen please help the bishop can i help you sir celebrate them hallelujah now listen let me tell you what we are going to do I'm going to hand over the mic to them maybe for a minute or so and each of them they represent authorities in this land and they are going to be speaking over your destiny and your life please I'd like you to open up your spirit receive from the depth of your heart are we together now? I believe in the mystery of impartation. I can help you, sir. You can put it up here, okay? I believe in the mystery of impartation. And many times, when these kinds of avenues avail themselves, we must maximize those opportunities. Because there are many of you that God is preparing you, and you will one day be fathers in this land, and direct the course of the spiritual activities that happen. So you must open your heart and receive a supply of the graces that may be dormant in your life or may be absent in your Christian experience. Praise the name of the Lord. In one minute, take us to your father's compound. Don't see anybody, just take us to your father's copper. But he knows Sharayan Dagadosh. Anya Quere won't get you who come. Who get you, Kuru? We didn't need Akwambo chekewa, 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 power of God.
privilege of talking with so many people by reason of the privilege of this call and sir i am amazed at the kinds of trouble the kinds of situations that you see people go through while they smile you cannot imagine the kind of situation medical reports that are death sentences financial situations demonic situations all kinds of troubles and most times believers just box this in hope that one day God will step in can I tell you my Bible says there remained a rest for the people of God even though they are the people of God there is a rest they have refused to enter it says today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart like they did that means they were given a chance to enter that rest but through unbelief they could not enter that rest it says to labor so that we'll enter that rest are we blessed yes encounter with the power of god you need the power of god in your life in the name of jesus and you see when we talk about the power of god the power of god is literally god's ability to produce his dimension of results in a man the power of god is god's ability not his kind of ability the very ability of god working in a man to produce results that only god can produce can i tell you this there are certain results in this earth realm that men unassisted cannot produce if it is the lord's doing the bible says it is marvelous there is a way you can do business that people know that this is just intellectual argument. This is, this is just a human being stretching his creativity. There is a way you can do ministry. There is a way you can live your life. But when that engracing of the spirit comes upon you, like we discussed in the morning, your life becomes supernatural by every standard. How in the world do you look at a sick person someone who has been diagnosed for 10 years say and with one word in the name of jesus be healed and that person will check and the pain is gone no it takes more than intelligent communication behind those words there is the power of god the power of god the power of god ladies and gentlemen i introduce you tonight to the power of God to not only heal the power of God to not only save can I tell you this the power of God is akin to light I shared this while we were having service if a room is left dark for 20 years if a room is left dark for 10 years if a room is left dark for one week if a room is left dark for one hour, how long does it take when you switch on the light for the room to be illuminated? Does it matter that the room has been dark for 20 years? This is how the power of God works. It doesn't matter how long the challenge has been there. The light will not respect the longevity of the darkness. At the instance the light comes, the darkness goes. So do not be surprised that in a moment, you will find out that the debt that would have taken five years for you to pay, that whilst you are in service, God is already moving by his power. Please sit down. Let me tell you three, three very important information about the power of God. Number one, the power of God is creative. The power of God creates. To create means to make a reality that did not exist to appear. The power of God is creative. It can create. Even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were. That means it is possible for me to have and to carry something now that does not exist around my life the power of God is creative number two the power of God is corrective 
it can correct any anomaly my goodness that when the power of God comes you see please look up the power of God functions like medicine like a drug if say for instance a gentleman is suffering from say malaria or headache or whatever it is does he put the drug on his head does he put the drug on his leg maybe not necessarily he will swallow that drug he does not have to tell the drug where to go to you just swallow it designed in the drug the drug knows where to go and correct that problem is that true now watch this when you swallow that drug you keep looking where you will know what the drug is doing by the correction that begins to happen that's how the word of god functions when it is introduced to your life your family your destiny you just leave the power of god it will go around your life checking for what part of your life is not like the garden of eden listen to me and it does not stop until it corrects so when the power of god comes to your life it can literally turn your life to the direction that is right the power of god does not just create it can correct apostle i have a medical report here that i have a situation that cannot be corrected medically let the power of god do that job it can correct are we together when you understand the creative dimension of the word of god it will conquer fear and doubt because for most people because we we are accustomed to the scientific realm the physical realm the question like mary is how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man it was a legitimate question the angel's answer is my answer to you the power of the highest shall overshadow you so i'm seated right here with a health condition apostle are you saying in a moment that that medical report that blood condition will leave question please look at me the bible says even the old earth and the old heaven will pass away what is in your body that cannot pass away if the earth itself can pass away hallelujah i am i am a recipient of the power of god not just a custodian of it i have been i have been blessed i know what the power of god can do in the life of an individual please hear me whenever you find out that there is a mountain that stands before you and you've exhausted everything you know to do i want you to step back and allow the power of god the power of god is able to create the power of God is able to correct apostle where will this breakthrough come from as I'm seated here now I wish I knew who would help me don't worry the Word of God has that assignment it is able to bring that possibility into your life please I want you to believe everything that I'm saying because that is what will happen to you shortly <laughs> hallelujah and you see the thing about the power of God is that you do not have to debate the presence or the absence of it the evidences will be clear whether it is there or not as simple and as honest as that it is impossible to be too hungry and not know it is impossible to be too full and not know it is impossible to be heavily pregnant and not know under normal circumstances anything you have in a lavish dimension you must know many of you have been anointed but it's like you are not anointed god wants to step you to a level where even demons and devils will know that an engracing from heaven has come upon your life tonight if you're in agreement with me say amen, amen. power to change situations power to provide supernatural solutions to the needs of man the power of god is not just limited to healings and deliverances you must understand this 
the power of God also engraces you to provide all kinds of supernatural solutions. The third thing about the power of God that I want you to know is that the power of God brings ease to the life of a man. Believe me, the power of God brings ease to the life of a man. One time, I don't know what led me to that, that, that channel, that page on the, on the internet, on YouTube. I was watching and I was watching how these metals crush and recycle cars. So they just throw something and the metal will crush it. But then they threw one metal that was made of steel and the machine just stopped. It couldn't crush it. Couldn't crush it. And I said, wow, I'm learning something here. Then they took it to a bigger machine. And as soon as they dropped it there, it squeezed that metal like orange. I said, that's it. So, the possibilities in our lives are not just based on the love of God. The possibilities in our lives are based on the kind and the dimension of power that is at work in you. Are we together now? Let me tell you very quickly how the power of God works and then we begin to pray. The power of God works like money. I like to use money for an example because I have learned by experience that people really understand it when you use money. <laughs> Hallelujah. So if I have, say, a thousand naira, I have money. A thousand naira may be able to buy this. Why? Because this is still within the range of that price. But a thousand naira may not be able to buy a vehicle. Are we together now? So if the challenge in front of me is to buy water, I am safe because a thousand naira can attend to that need. But if the challenge is now to buy a vehicle, I will need to have multiples of what I am holding. So it says grace and peace be multiplied. Because, listen carefully, there are challenges that you may confront that the level of power you carry may not be able to solve. This is a very powerful teaching. Listen, do you know as a man of God, I can have someone say having headache, whatever pain, a financial problem, whatever demonic oppression, and in the name of Jesus, I can pray for that person. Can I be honest with you? The only problems in that man's life that will be solved through that prayer and that ministration would be the problems that are under the kind of grace I carry. So it is possible that out of the 10 challenges he has, only two will be solved. He may fall down as usual and stand up, but only two because that is on the spiritual currency. That is how far I could go in helping him. Now you will understand Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. It's not just that he was anointed. Look at the extent he was anointed. So that whatever problem you had, that grace was sufficient to solve it. This is also the reason why even though he has anointed us, we continue to contend for deeper and greater levels of power. Why? Because as the problems of men continue to multiply, as the arsenals of darkness come up with all kinds of problems, we must have the sufficient engracing to solve every problem that we confront. The degree to which you can solve the problems of men is the degree to which you are a blessing. And if it is true that the Bible says, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed, then we must continue to contend. Why do I have to pray and contend for greater levels of power when I am already seeing a measure? Because you see, there are some things that that level cannot do. The disciples came and asked Jesus and said, why couldn't we do this? And Jesus told them, he said, this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting. The prayer and fasting does something to you that increases your capacity to respond to that situation are we together do you know i look back at my life and i am surprised today at how certain things happened cheaply that were so difficult in time past even though i was anointed even though i had the power of god but i did not understand that the needs of men can only attend to the level of power you've heard me say every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it 
it is possible to stay around struggling over a situation and to make God look powerless in the face of that situation. And someone will come with a higher level of grace and not even pray any prayer. Just bring that presence and you find that problem just melt just like that. With all humility, I look at some of the situations that God has used me to solve in the life of people today. Did you know that these were the same situations that years ago I would struggle over and wonder what, what is wrong? Is it that I'm not anointed? Is it that I'm not using the name of Jesus? The difference was growth and increase. This is why he can measure a thousand cubits even though you are the river. Just because you are the river does not mean that you have everything. Then he measured a thousand cubits. I sense that there are some of us who are here tonight. It is time for that thousand cubits to be measured for you because you see the level God is taking you to. Can I tell you how God honors you? God honors you by exposing you to people who have greater levels of problems so that with the greater anointing when you are able to solve their problems, then your honor is greater. Is someone learning tonight our world today does not ignore the reality of power at work in a man now it is the desperation for power is so strong that whether it is diabolic power it is whatever power let it just be power that works people who want to benefit from it first before they verify and ask for forgiveness if necessary but in the meantime they don't have that time for any discussion. The moment they see anything that carries a semblance of power to provide results, they will run. So whilst we are giving all kinds of explanations in the church and saying, don't go to herbalists, don't go to all kinds of diabolic people, if we do not rise and contend for superior levels of power in this end time, we will be surprised how people will leave the church wall and immediately after our beautiful speaking, they have heard but they want to see in some other place. Are we together? One more time, shout power. It takes power to dislodge the arsenals of darkness that plague our children, that plague our lives, that plague our destinies, all kinds of demonic things. I marvel at the skills that Satan has employed so far in, in bringing troubles to people's lives. As I interact with people and as I talk with people, sometimes I, I get so emotional, I cannot imagine how determined Satan is to keep people in a way that never brings glory to God. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit this conference is called encounter encounter is more than a discussion it's an experience so when jesus is ready to use a man the way he prepares that man is to submit that man through seasons of dealings dealings that prune you dealings that break you listen carefully when god calls you he does not empower you anointing is not what follows calls when god calls you he does not call you to ministry he calls you to himself and it is a season of uncomfortable dealing and breaking but when you pass through that season with him and he's ready to send you he does not only send you with a message he sends you with the backing of heaven the backing of heaven and when you stand and deliver that message in truth that backing is ready to speak for you to bring healings and to validate number one that Jesus is Lord number two that you are truly sent the anointing I've taught you that is, is a system of legitimization. That means if you claim you came from God with a message from God, then the people will want to hear and to see. 
and the assignment of that anointing is to prove to men among other reasons that you are not an illegitimate communicator of the counsel of God so when you speak and God backs you it's his signature upon your life and within that environment I sent him are we together because some of you will leave this meeting tonight in a hurry and you will get back home and stand and say okay when Saul left his father's house he could not do much but now Saul has returned as a prophet Saul is not just returning as one who is looking for the father's donkey so the encounter is twofold number one to experience the grace that is so lavishly given but number two that you not only experience it you become a conduit of that grace and then in addition to all of the other parts of the conference down till sunday you will now know that i'm a career of higher grace and in case you are saying apostle i've i think i'm anointed the question is how many supernatural solutions has that level of anointing brought to men And he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my knees and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins and he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river overflowing and the Bible says everywhere the river went to the fish that was there came back to life by reason of that overflowing anointing I also sense that tonight there are many of you who there will be a restoration of graces and dimensions. Dimensions in the spirit you once walked in. But for some reason, that visionary experience you used to have just seems to have faded away. That, that intuitiveness, that level of favor, when you came into this city, it was like you were a magnet. But now it looks like everything is gone. Find hope. The power of God can restore. The power of God can restore. The power of God can restore. My goodness, I already sense such a strong anointing here already. The power of God can restore. Another powerful thing about the power of God before we pray is that the power of God can bring acceleration. This is very this is a, a a very powerful feature of the power of god acceleration when it has to do with acceleration the hand of god can come upon a man and can fast track your life listen if two of us start a journey here we are supposed to run at the same pace whoever goes ahead is the one who arrives first but when the power of god is introduced to the life of a man he can pick you from that level pick you on a flight here's what the bible says they that wait upon the lord they shall renew so this is the business of strength he's talking about are we together now he says they will mount up with wings he's still talking about strength the moment he begins to talk about wings he's talking about speed he's talking about time they will mount up with wings as the eagles they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Elijah ran on barefoot by the power of God. And he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel. Someone tonight as you are encountering this power. Listen, it, it, it truly will walk like a dream. As you will see God just push you to levels that you cannot even explain. You just know you are moving by the spirit to dimensions that you cannot explain. Can I tell you this? Do not forbear with evil tonight. Do not forbear with anything that does not name the name of Christ. Do not give excuses. You are going to pray and you will insist that everything that is not consistent with the counsel of God as revealed from scripture, tonight is the night you will wave it a final goodbye. Can you rise up on your feet as we pray in one minute? It's going to be very, very fast so that we don't keep us uh, too long here. But then I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Please lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Pray.
pray over your ministry pray over your life pray over your destiny pray over your health it's a new season by the spirit of the living god following online here in the auditorium lift your voice and pray man of god you are praying it's a new season hallelujah hallelujah now let me say this by the grace of god i want to assure you by the spirit of the living god that god has granted us by the privilege of his grace the wisdom and the word compliancy to dispense the gifts of the spirit within the boundary of scripture you need not fear regardless the extremities of the manifestations by the grace of god we are dealing here with a system that honors god and is consistent with the ways of god so every prophetic word every manifestation of the spirit and every administration of the power of god that will happen here i want you to trust that it will happen within the boundary of scripture find confidence and let your heart be open to receive i say this because i know that many of us may have had all kinds of experiences with the prophetic experiences with the miraculous and chances are that when the power of god is about to dispense be dispensed on this wise there can be that fear we can close our hearts in a bid to escape error in a bid to not get into anything that is extra biblical i want you to know that we love jesus we fear him and he's cultured us and trained us well we came out of the experience the dealing of the spirit it's not just an anointing that came we were taught and we were sent so find confidence that the administration of the power of god as you will be experiencing here will be within the boundary of scripture aimed at revealing jesus and bringing him glory are we together now you pray father let your power touch me let it rest upon my life let it change my life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please listen to me listen to me uh for the sake of space when if for any reason there is a call to bring out those under the anointing may i request that we just maintain the gaps at the edges so that we don't the space here is limited so that we can honor the servants of god just here right now and then we're going to be very very fast on this i'm going to be praying for the sick but right now i just saw light and without shouting without doing anything just bring all the people under the anointing now as the power of god begins to fall on people right now as i'm speaking the power of god and the light of god just from the left to the right i just saw that light right now please bring them the power of god is going to begin to rest on people and this anointing that is coming on people is for restoration this is what i'm seeing in the spirit and there are people here who have been tied down there are people here who the lord is bringing restoration please bring all of them out right now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare may that grace for restoration rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus right to the back it's, it's, it's something you can't stand we're talking about the power of god here from the left to the right the extreme of this auditorium please whether you are an usher or not just do well to help anyone under the anointing right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare 
let there be restoration let there be restoration may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ please bring them out who is grace I'm hearing a name grace who is grace is there anyone with that name I presume that there may be lots of people grace this person I'm talking about you are wearing I'm seeing like white and yellow you are wearing a trouser is there somebody like that you are wearing white and yellow that's what I'm describing who is that I can't see anybody oh I see the Lord is saying it's a new season for this lady I don't know who she is but in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a woman five years five years you are yet to have the fruit of the womb you are yet to give birth five years you are on this road God is telling me you are here is there someone like that here just here we have to hurry up for time please if you find her let her come your life is about to change madam run and come to Jesus here at house on the rock he's giving you an encounter atmosphere shift now change be broke please let them come hearing a name Nike is like a short form of a whole name Nike is there someone with such a name madam you are the one I'm seeing the Lord is saying number one I don't know what it is I hope you're not embarrassed can I talk to you the Lord is shifting something in your body this is what I'm seeing please lay your hand on your stomach I don't know what it is but the Lord is telling me that he's bringing you a miracle this is what I'm is this your husband sir can I pray for you ma in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I do not know you, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare right now that this thing that does not name the name of Christ, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. How long have you been trusting your all? Huh? Your grace. Please bring for me two people that shout loud right now under the anointing. There is such, I just saw light, that fire. This is a very loud shout. I want to pray. Please, I want you to believe. Even if it is 10 minutes, I want you to know that something must rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing this one, two, three, the third row the third row here there are some of you the power of god i i don't know but there are people god is raising to become mighty vessels i just saw an anointing rest on you this row in the name of jesus i don't know where you are but i pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah I want to pray for you. Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I, I asked them to come out. Are they here? I want you to believe in Jesus. Don't worry. Just take your eyes away from whatever medical report. Believe in Jesus. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. We're going to make this very fast. I just saw that fire come on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, according to the time of life, please just place your hand on your stomach if you can. Why is she here? She was under the anointing there. Look at me, madam. You believe in Jesus? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I declare, this that I see on you, let it loose now by the power of the Holy Spirit, gone forever, never to return again in the name of jesus and for all of you who are here i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead according to the time of life return with miracle children 
house on the rock agree with them return with miracle children return with miracle children in the name of jesus christ please quickly return to your seats someone among the people who were ministering here to healer i just saw the power of god that's where the choir is there's one of you i know that maybe right now the lord is saying to that one person that you are stepping into a new season a new season by the power of the holy spirit a new season in the name of jesus christ a new season there are four men of God here. You are in ministry. I just saw a strong anointing resting upon you. Four people. I know that we may pray for other people, but I don't know where the four people are. By the Spirit of God, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, this grace for a new season in ministry. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. My friend, there's a gentleman on suit. This man, lift your hands. I just saw light coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Shali Tarus Kadima who works here with FIRSC? That's Federal Inland. I just saw that name, FIRSC. You are wearing white. No, not this man. You are, it's like you are somewhere there. Is there some, please come. Your life is about to change. Please verify. Is there someone to, where do you, God bless you, sir. Where do you work, sir? FIRSC, yes. how long have you been there? For 10 years now. 10 years. I want to, because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. It's a new season for you. Can I pray for you? Who works with Indians? I'm seeing a man and I'm seeing Indians. Is there someone like that? You work with it. Oh dear. Yes. You work with Indians. Come. I want to pray for you sir i'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing like a scepter given to you and the lord is saying is a new season this thing will happen within the next six months the way god will move you it will surprise you you believe what i'm saying and now i, I don't mean to speak against any tribe but what i'm hearing you see when god places when god is determined to lift you whether it's a donkey, whether it's a Cyrus, he will use anyone and anything to lift you. This is what is happening to you. I pray for you by the Spirit of the living God. Joining faith with the servants of God here, I decree and declare. According to the word of the Lord, let it be for you now. In Jesus' name. And for you, my brother, may the Lord help you. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for someone. I don't want you to be embarrassed. I usually would not do this except that God asks me to do it. You are a driver. But I want to pray because you have been seeing yourself starting a business. I want to pray for you. Your life is going to change. This is what you do. It's like you drive. That's what I'm seeing. But you are about to start a business. And the Lord wants me to just pray and speak over your life. If there's someone like that. Uh, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man wearing blue. Complete blue. This is what I'm seeing. Come, don't be embarrassed. This is the house of God. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. My friend, please come. Can I tell you, listen, listen. The house of God is a place of power. God does not just bring successful people. He makes successful people out of the house. Are we together now? Let me use this opportunity to decree already over someone. That in the name of Jesus, whatever level you have seen now, by prophecy, I push you to the next level. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do, 
means that you drive your own private vehicle? Your own private vehicle? Yeah. I do Uber. Okay, no. Uber. You two, same thing. And this man? Not my own, sir. But you're driving someone's... So where are you from? I'm from Adamastu, sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. I'm seeing the Lord use agriculture to lift you in a way that will surprise you. This man, I don't know you from anywhere, but God is connecting you. Agriculture is what I see God using to honor and bless you and to lift you. And I stretch my hands, my friend. May the power that makes this happen, let it rest upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sirs, by the Spirit of the living God. I'm seeing according to that vision, you starting a business. May the grace that makes things work, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. All of you, in the name of Jesus, within months, you will return with tearsome testimonies. In the marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, I want to pray, I believe in speed. There truly is a grace for speed. Destiny is a function of time. And whatever impedes you has taken a portion of your destiny. Is it alright if I minister that grace upon you? Truly there is a grace for speed. Speed of accomplishment. I want to pray for you. Now every time I pray this, here's what I want you to do. Please I want you to help those who will begin to run by the spirit so that we don't have any injuries. The power of God will rest on people and literally they will find themselves running by the Spirit. The hand of God is resting upon them. I don't know, I don't have any personal relationship with this woman who ministered. But madam, I don't know what it is that you have to do with United Kingdom. Because I'm, I, just, I just had a vision and I saw you in, in UK. And I don't know what this is, maybe a program you are going or something God is doing for you and your husband. Is it alright if I just speak over you? In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever it is that is in UK that is for you, in the name of Jesus, let it look for you until it enters your hand. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree this and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray that grace for speed. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn, and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head, you are exalted like the horn. I stretch my hands right now everyone here who has suffered any kind of delay there is a strong anointing coming on you right now at the count of three one two my god help them three take that grace take that grace speed all over the building i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost speed in ministry speed in business speed in your life May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. I release you by the prophetic. Run like Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahab. Down to Jesus. Run like Elijah. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Jesus Christ. Supernatural speed over your life. Supernatural speed over your destiny. Many of you will stand to testify here that at this conference, the Lord shifted you to, to seasons and realms beyond your imagination. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him 
and given him a name and he says that name is above every other name that at the mention of that name every knee shall bow i want to rebuke every wind that has been causing the storm to rage for you there are spirits that are back of the tragedies in the lives of men there are spirits that are back sir can i pray for you this man i don't know who you are but i just saw light coming on you and i want to pray for you because the lord is taking you to a level beyond your imagination i stretch my hands towards you sir and i declare let this anointing rest upon you let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus christ and that everything that does not name the name of christ in your life let it give way right now i want to pray for you listen to me paul was speaking to the church in thessalonica and he said i desire to come to you again even i paul once and again but satan hindered us satan can use manifestations of spirits systems and structures to block people from making progress i want to declare against any spirit that is not of the christ and the moment i pray please anyone who is manifesting here you just help them so they don't injure themselves are we together now my god Hallelujah. 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 spirit that is not of the Christ tormenting lives and destinies tying down the glory of people I want to pray for you and at the count of three I want you to shout that name that is above every other name exalted above every name every throne every dominion and hear me at that shout if God be God then everything that has held you down, even if it is Jericho, are you ready now? At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, every yoke of darkness, release those people now. In the name of Jesus, release Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives, according to scripture, shall be delivered. I'm still praying. Some of you are standing here for your families, not just for yourself. If there is any one of your family members under any kind of yoke of captivity, because you are here at this conference, I bring life to them now. Victory to them now. Freedom to them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. You work in Access Bank. I just saw that logo. Access Bank. I want to pray for the sick now. But the Lord just gave me this word. Gentlemen, you work in Access Bank. In fact, it's like you came from the bank to this place. You are wearing a, you are wearing it. Uh, okay, come. But I'm seeing in my vision, it's like blue. It's a light blue. But you come. 
But this one, well, okay. you work in Access Bank? Please come. Both of you, all of you. I'm seeing four people. This is what I'm seeing. One, two, three. But I'm seeing a fourth person again. Access Bank, sir. God bless you. Can I pray for you, sirs? Listen, let me tell you this. Every gift and every grace that God gives a man is not for that man. It's for the body of Christ. I can assure you that the days of superstar Christianity is over. We are here as vessels revealing Jesus, joining our hands as the body of Christ to exalt Jesus and show the world that he's alive. This is what this is all about. This is not about Joshua Selman. This is not about some man of God. Thank God for the gift. But I can tell you we are only ushers. We direct men to Jesus to help them know that he's alive. Are we together? If you ever find yourself being mightily and marvelously used by God, let me encourage you. Do not be ashamed to let the nations know that your assignment is to project Jesus. It is only when he is lifted up that he draws men to himself. Are we blessed? I want to pray for you, sir. How long have you been in Access Bank? Will you believe what I'll tell you? Yes, sir. That your time here is almost coming to an end? Yes, sir. But you've seen it. Yes. It's not something I'm just saying. Yes. You've seen it. Yes. And that the Lord is going to lift you. Yes. You are in Abuja here. Yes. What is taking you to Lagos? Because I'm seeing you go to Lagos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, my brothers, I agree with you. Standing on the grace of your pastor, I decree and declare a strong anointing is coming on you, my brother. This man I prophesy to, and in the name of Jesus, God is going to connect you to a very wealthy man, and that man will be used by God to change your life. May that grace rest on you. So let it be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, sirs, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. May the Lord show you favor. May the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus, you will go and prosper. You will go and experience increase. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the cry of a baby. And he's a baby boy. And the Lord is telling me there is a family. You've had a child, but you are trusting God for a boy. I don't know who that person is. And you are in, you are in front. Where are you coming from, madam? Is that true? I, I, I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I pray for you? You believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Madam, you are a member of this church? No, sir. Now, when, no matter where you are, let, do me a favor. When the boy comes, come and stand here and testify. <laughs> sorry, so sorry. I hope it's not you. My dear, you are trusting God for this miracle? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That is it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I pray for you. Where is your husband? I want to pray for you. There is a marvelous financial miracle. This be even beyond this prayer that I'm praying that is coming for you and your husband. But I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. A strong anointing is coming upon you now. And in the name of Jesus, this grace, this grace is what will make this prophetic word come to pass. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. And for my sister here, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord and for the glory of the King, let this be for you. In Jesus' name. Did I pray for you, sir? I can't even remember why he's out. FIRS. I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. How long have you worked there? Ten years. Huh? Ten years. Ago. Ten years. And seeing you have something to do with politics or a politician, what? Huh? What? Do you, what else do you do? That's all you do. I want you. Do not fight it. When that drive for politics comes, it's in your destiny. God has shown you this thing already. Even before you started working, I release that grace upon you now. May the grace that makes this happen 
listen let me tell you this the church god has given the church and he has given vessels in the church certain graces called a kingmaker anointing a kingmaker never sits on that throne himself but he can enthrone and dethrone the church is actively part of government are we together yes just close to the people sitting at the front here i'm seeing the power of god come on one person um just this like this right there this row i don't know why but it's just a miracle i'm going to pray for the sick right now but i stretch my hands in the name of jesus christ may that strong anointing rest upon you supernaturally let it shift you to a new season by the power of the holy ghost in jesus name in the name of jesus christ can i just take out five minutes to pray for the sick my sincere apologies i know that there are people who have come here trusting god for healing do you believe in healing miracles please lay your hands here's what i want you to do for me i've been given a bit of time but i will not abuse that that privilege so we'll still walk within the boundary of the time given but here's what i want you to do i'm going to pray a simple prayer in the name of jesus remember my illustration about light and darkness because that light is about to come up right now are we together and i'm going to pray for you in mass the power of god is coming on one person with hepatitis now the power of god i'm going to pray for everyone but that one person you will be healed right now right at the back that's what i'm saying is there someone like that right at the back you are healed now of hepatitis right there in the name of jesus now i'm going to pray for you and as soon as i pray for you i want you to please check yourself we're not pretending this is no show this is the power of god i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened let's have even if, it, even if it's just one or two testimonies of the marvelous hand of god and then i just speak over your life and we're done is that fine please lay your hands very quickly i want to pray for you i believe in miracles i truly believe in miracles blood conditions negative medical reports you are here working miracles i worship you i worship you you are here of Jesus is moving across this place now now two things will happen and the healing power of Jesus will begin to touch people two people are going to start running out by the anointing please hold them wherever they are honestly I don't know why God does these things sometimes but they are just signs and wonders when that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move two people literally the power of God will come upon them that's one there. Now I can pray. How God does these things and why he does it, sometimes there are signs and wonders. There is one more person right now. The power of God, literally. The person will start running. Please just hold the person so he doesn't enjoy himself. And then I begin to... <laughs> it's very funny how these things work sometimes. Now I'm ready to pray. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands. in the name of jesus christ please shout a believing amen. amen in the name of jesus christ amen. i rebuke every spirit that is back of every infirmity every disease i command by the power that raised christ from the dead be gone now in the name of jesus and every sickness every infirmity in the name of jesus the christ of god be healed now 
blood conditions be healed now my god my god my god such a wave of glory the anointing is just sweeping across the length and the breadth of this place healing is coming i'm seeing the lord heal lumps lumps like lumps breast lumps be healed right now be healed right now help them please be healed my god be healed right now there's someone having severe pain around the lower back area severe pain in fact i'm literally feeling that pain on my own back i decree and declare right now be healed in jesus name <laughs> madam the woman laying her hands on her head i just saw oil keep that hand on your head i saw oil coming on you and the lord is saying this infirmity goes now i stretch my hands be healed now be healed now the power of god is touching you right where you are be healed now in the name of jesus headache migraine headache goes now in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone having any malignant growth or any kind of growth whatsoever we command that growth to dissolve from your body now cancer be healed in the name of jesus There's someone God is healing you you don't have to come out but what we know as impotency the Lord is healing someone of that condition right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have breathing problems you really cannot breathe like breathe normally the power of God is touching you a miracle is happening to you right now right now right now a miracle is happening please help her help her help her just hold her She's coming out by the anointing so she doesn't fall. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord is showing me, I'm seeing someone there is, it looks like a boil, but it comes out in a particular part of your body. You keep treating it and treating it and it keeps coming again. The power of God is touching you right where you are in the name of jesus christ someone you came here with severe pain i'm seeing pain around your shoulder here you are at the back the power of god has touched you in the name of jesus every other situation be healed right now be healed right now in fact there's someone you are having um i don't know what this is called it's it's not yes your throat like tonsillitis severe pain you almost cannot swallow as soon as i'm done praying you check yourself that devil leaves your throat right now someone your left eye your left eye seems you don't see very clearly with your left eye the power of god is coming upon you now and i declare that that blood vision is is perfected now 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 in the name of jesus christ every blind eye be open whether partial or total blindness be healed now hear me if there is anyone here who cannot walk well whether you're on a crutch or you're on a wheelchair stand up now in the name of jesus any pain around your limbs in the name of jesus if you're on crutches i release the power of god be healed right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who has struggled with pile please hold on this is a very severe case of pile very severe case of pile the power of god is coming on you you will know you are healed because the pain leaves you now the pain leaves you now in the name of jesus christ um i don't know what medical condition is it that prohibits eating starch but I'm seeing someone, your a doctor was warning you to not eat starch because of a medical condition you have. The power of God, I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Now for sake of time, whether or not I mention your case from the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. 
my sister that lady waving her hands i'm seeing the power of god come on your stomach there is something that is going out right now i decree and declare i stretch my hands towards you let that devil leave you now in the name of jesus christ now very quickly some of you even whilst you were under the anointing something happened to you i want you to check yourself we have just two minutes i don't want to abuse the time we need to shame the devil here at house on the rock the refuge are we together wherever you are check yourself the moment you find out that you could do something you couldn't do please be very bold i like you to use either this place or that place celebrate them people are coming out if i can have just one or two of the pastors or just just someone so we take one or two testimonies check your vision check everything is this how you celebrate miracles my god is this how you celebrate miracles keep coming check yourself check yourself check yourself don't sit back and hold on those of you watching and following online miracles are also happening in your homes your offices wherever you are i want you to, you can call in you can send through whatever platform the emails that may be displayed let the house on the rock here the refuge know that jesus is touching you right where you are in the name of jesus yes sir just a few hold on oh, ju ju just a moment okay hello apostle yes, sir. Uh, when you talk about the fire one of the reasons one of the, the the reasons why i'm in this service i'm not a member of the church but one of the reasons was because of this fire matter i even came with the drug i've been taking where it. is the drug see, oh i see taking it it's inside it's inside my back what happened to you now it's gone maybe you said the pain then it's gone we have another miracle here yes, sir. Please. very quickly my god just just we're not going to stay here for too long go please ahead just be patient yes go ahead coming to church i had the sore throat i don't know i was not breathing well for them my throat oh the gone. lady that was running out yeah. check it now yes. any pain it's gone it's completely gone it never returns to you right now by the power of the holy spirit yes please okay. uh, praise the lord um, i'm a medical doctor and my job entails that i stand a lot in theaters doing ward rounds so I've been feeling this pain on my right toe and the feet. I keep telling myself that I'm going to see an orthopedic surgeon, but I never had the time to see one. Today, the pain becomes, became so intense during the ward round that I had, to take, I had to sit down and stop work. But of course, I had to stand up and continue work. So yes. during the prayer, I was standing and there was a lot of pain, but I kept standing. What happens? And I just want to bless the name of the Lord. And right Check yourself. now... The pain is no longer Check. there. Any pain? No blessing, Completely no gone. You Check pain. yourself. Gone. It never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Is that yes, please? Hold on. Yours, um, blood vision. Blood so vision. A uh, blood vision. Like I can't How long? see this. What's your name, my dear? Happiness. Happiness. Yes, sir. How long? Um, going to eight, nine years now. What couldn't you read when you came? Um, the screen. Oh, I can't really see your face clearly. I was using glasses. You were using glasses? Yes. Where are the glasses? I can't find it when I fell down. I don't know whether somebody... And right now you can see? Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Yes. We have another miracle here, Apostle. Yes. I want to thank God because I was having blood visions. You were having blood vision? Yes, and immediately the man of God prayed the blood vision seed. Secondly, I want to thank God because... He manifested this power in my life in a different dimension today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've been having shoulder pain for several months now. And when the man of God prayed, the shoulder pain just left. Check yourself. Any pain, completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of Praise the Holy the Spirit. Praise the Lord. My name is Philip. I actually came here with a severe neck, knee problem, pain. I was supposed to see, go to Cedar Crest tomorrow. That's my appointment tomorrow. But while the prayer was going on, something hit me serious. My God, check yourself. Any I'm pain? Pretty healed, sir. Supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
I work in a hospital too, so I do a lot of standing. Are you seeing what God is doing to the medical people? So I, I've been having this pain from my neck, shoulder, and to this part of my body, but right now I can't feel. Before now, I can't even bend down. And I've been doing physiotherapy for like three weeks now, but I don't feel any pain Completely anymore. Completely bend down. Check yourself. Any pain. Any pain. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so, yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Um, I was having this shoulder pain and ankle, so we are about to travel soon to check for trials like football. So You are a footballer? Yes, sir. So last week, Friday, I went to training, then I got ankle, then my shoulder, but now, after the prayers, I'm feeling normal. Check yourself. Hallelujah. May the Lord prosper you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have Maybe one or two yes, more and then we're done. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. While I was there, I felt a very sharp pain in my tummy. And the moment I fell under the anointing, that was all. That was the end. What happened to you? The pain what? ceased. The pain ceased. Oh, you had a pain before yeah. now? No, it was while I was there. there it was, was while you were there? Yes. It just the left. The moment I fell under the anointing, it disappeared. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed now. You are healed forever. Let's have the last one. I know there are many more. What will happen is you can you can testify uh, uh, during the other sessions. Yes. I've had ringing in my ears for over three years now, and then I can't hear anything anymore. And then the ringing has stopped. There's no ringing in my ear anymore. You believe what has? Yes. I had pain in my knee coming to church this evening, and. Can't feel the pain Completely anymore. gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, let's just honor that sister and praise and, the Lord. Yes, when you mentioned waist pain that you can even feel the pain, I was there. I've had this pain since last week. If I sit down to stand up, will be an issue, I will fall back to the chair. But when you mentioned the issue, I've been checking myself because the pain is no longer there. Completely. I'm to Please stand on your feet. I'm no longer. Slave to I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Before I speak over your life, you are in this place. And haven't heard about Jesus and what he can do haven't seen what he has done you are here and you're saying apostle I know that I need Jesus I need to make it right with Jesus or you are here and you are saying apostle I remember giving everything to Jesus but for some reason my life has gone haywire and I need restoration I'm going to count one to five for sake of time you have just a minute i'd like you to leave your seat please um before we receive the final prophetic word wherever you are please leave your seat boldly don't be ashamed don't be afraid i'd like you to come and stand here very quickly i'll count one to five please run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand before jesus here one run to jesus two Don't allow anybody to leave you behind. Run. Come to Jesus. He's giving you a new beginning. You don't have to kneel. Please stand for space. Please stand for space. Three. Someone is coming to Jesus here at this conference. He's giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. If you're still running, come. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Praise the, praise the name of the Lord. I salute every one of you. Thank you for the courage to come. Jesus said, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I request that you lift your right hand very high above your head. Please say this after me. Say it with faith, believing that Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word that you are all powerful. I believe in your power to save I believe in your power 
to give me a new beginning I confess Jesus as my Savior my Lord and my King I declare that I receive eternal life into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name please keep those hands father we thank you for these ones you have brought them to yourself may the grace that keeps may that grace keep them I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus now you would notice that you were given a card please look up you were given a card by the officials here's what I want you to do um, as they direct you you'll be told what to do okay I thought you would feel it here so please all of you to my left which is your right I like you to go let's celebrate them as they go you will meet with a few counselors and you will be back to your seat hallelujah can I speak finally over your life please stand thank you for your patience thank you for your patience let me encourage you to be actively involved in the remaining sessions there's tomorrow morning there's tomorrow evening there's um, Saturday morning and then the celebration service do well to stretch through remember this is a week for you of spiritual emphasis and do well to enjoy the worship the word connect with your heart opened and the Lord will bless you in Jesus name I decree and declare over your life in the name that is above all names the level of grace and anointing that you require for the next season may that grace rest on you now in the name of Jesus Christ every closed door over your life and your destiny I speak over that door and I decree and declare let it be open now I decree and declare that in this season you encounter the ministry of destiny help us men and women raised by God to hold your hand and lift you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare that for everything that has left you that should not have left you wherever it is I call it by prophecy back to your life in the mighty name of Jesus I speak over everyone under the sound of my voice you will finish this year well hear me everyone here present in this place by this time next year you will still be alive rejoicing here the only difference is that you will be at least 10 times better than you are now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everyone who is part of the house on the rock family especially the refuge here all who have contributed to making this conference so far a success in the Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.